Good morning, students. In our last class, we have studied about linear equation, and today I am going to begin the new lesson, quadratic equation. What do you mean by quadratic equation? Let me write the equation. Of the variable here, it is two. So in a equation of one variable, in a equation of one variable, if the highest power of the equation is two, then we call it as quadratic. Equation. I write down the equation. Four x square plus eight y plus three equals to zero. This is not the quadratic equation because you can observe here the highest power of the equation is two, but it has two variables. Here the variable is a and here the variable is y. So we cannot say this is quadratic equation. So the two conditions it should fulfill. To say that the given equation is quadratic equation, the first thing is the equation should contain the same variable. Variable is the alphabet, so it should have the same variable, and also the highest power of the variable should be two. If I write eight x two plus four x plus three is equal to zero, so can you say this is a quadratic equation? Here it is the same variable. Yes, there is no other alphabet, so it contains the 
equals to zero. Then nine two sa eighty plus twenty five plus number zero. Then add this to eighty plus twenty five. Thirty nine, right? Thirty nine plus nine. Forty eight. Whether forty eight is equal to zero, it's not possible. The answer is possible. Forty eight and the answer is zero. So x equal to minus three is not the solution of the equation. Two x square minus seven x plus nine equal to zero. So next third main question: If square root of two divided by three is the solution of the equation three x square plus m x plus Equals to zero. Then find the value of m. Thank you. 